Not everyone can afford or wants to get nose jobs, fillers, Botox, or even lip injections, but you can afford to fake it. Ooh. And here to show us how is celebrity makeup artist and author of How to Fake Real Beauty, Rami Gaffney. Thank you for being here, Rami. And uh, we also have Tanya join us, who is going to be our model for today. And so you you used some of these methods on Tanya. I did. We uh, She's actually demonstrating a few different things. Um, we started with the lips, how to fake fuller lips, something everybody likes, but not everybody wants to get injected. So what I do is I started with a lip pencil, a little bit deeper than her lip tone. And I outline the lips, but I stay in the realm of reality. Basically, you want to stay on your lip line, but with an eye towards fullness. And then I fill her lower lip back and forth with a highlighter, and that gives a powdier lip. And I go over it with a clear, sparkling, like a, a sheer sparkling gloss. And then a little photographer's trick, I do a highlighter at the cupid's bow and below the center of the lower lip, and you blend it out, and it creates an even fuller mm. illusion. Yeah. I would say success. Yes. Thanks. Looks great. <laughs> it and the second thing we demonstrated on Tanya was how to fake a more perfect complexion. What I do is I use a wrinkle relaxing cream directly on any line or wrinkle, and you want to blend it back and forth along the line. Like, you don't want to blend it away. You want to fill the line. Um, I do the wrinkle relaxer. I set it with a primer that locks in the wrinkle relaxer against the skin and creates a smoother surface. Oh. And then the hero product is the concealer. I go over it with a concealer that matches her skin tone or is one shade lighter. It eliminates the depth of the lines, and it really, really works. How long does something over. like that last? Until you wash your face. So, but, so, it'll, so it'll, but it'll last all day if you have a big, big day and a big event it planned. It will stay on until you take it off. That's why the layering is important. And to fit, further fake a little healthy glow, I do my youth recipe blush, which I mix a little highlighter and two shades of blush to give her a youthful glow. Oh, and you definitely have that. Oh, I love it. And then you also are able to do something with, with the eyes and, and the um, nose. Yeah, we did uh, a little bit of contouring. I think Tanya's nose is patrician and beautiful, yeah. but she um, didn't love her nose. And so I showed her a very simple way to contour and highlight. And that's something you can do on your cheeks. It's something you can do on the nose. I'm using a taupe. That's a taupe eyeshadow powder that I'm using as a contour. And I blend it out. And then the same highlighter that I use on her cheeks, I use down the center of her nose. And it depends on what kind of nose you have. For example, if you feel like your nose is long, you can do a little contour below the tip, and it'll shorten the appearance of your nose. Um, for example, also, you can do the highlighter high up on the nose, and that will draw the, when someone looks at her, it draws your eye upwards, and it further gives her a shorter nose, and it just looks more streamlined. Such a regal nose. I can't imagine yeah. anyone you. doing anything about <laughs> Your eyes are popping too. Yes. The eyes are really, most steps when I do a makeup, it comes down to the eyes. And usually, like, my philosophy is minimum makeup, maximum impact. So what I do to make the eyes, we're faking bigger eyes here. And what we do is we fill in the eyebrow. And I use, um, I do concealer all around the entire orb of the eye, lash line to brow bone also. And it really brings the eyes forward and it acts as your base color. I do eyeliner on the upper lash line and you want the upper lash line to be the most dramatic. So you can do a little liner on the lower lash line, but with a lighter hand. And then mascara only on the upper lashes. Okay. And I do huh. um, the shadow on the crease of her eye. And that creates an illusion of depth and makes the eye look bigger. And then I do a highlight or across the lid. So it's all about light and shadow and where you place it and you can really create the illusion of bigger eyes. Oh, you are an man. artiste. Really? Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, pictures don't lie. Let's do your before and after. Oh, <laughs> what do you all think in the audience? Cool tips, right? Great tips. Robbie, I know you have a little surprise. I do. Everyone in the audience is going to get a copy of my book, How to Fake Real Beauty. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you can figure out a chance to win a copy of Ronnie's book by heading over.